This is a special video for special education teachers or really any teacher who works with students who have IEPs that require uh, accommodations to your assignments. So how do you manage those variations in assignments through Google Classroom. I'm going to outline uh, one method for you. So I am uh, a biology teacher and I have created an assignment for my students called the Mitosis Project. And they're, um, This is a pretty detailed project. They need to create some sort of a visual illustration of the steps of mitosis. There's a lot in here. Now I have one student in my class who um, has an IEP that allows for modifications to that assignment. So this is how I would accommodate that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write up my assignment, whatever uh, I want my students to do, and I'm going to go ahead and assign it. Now, if I know in advance that I have a student with an IEP that requires modification, I'm going to click on the drop down, uh, student drop down at the top, and I'm going to deselect the student who requires those modifications. Now, if you're a special education teacher who supports the uh, a teacher, you may not be able to coordinate with them. And so if the assignment does get sent out to everyone, including the student with the IEP, if you're a co-teacher in the class, you can actually go into the assignment details just like I've done here. Uh, you're just going to click the uh, three dots, the snowman, click edit, and you can actually de-assign it from a student. So if the teacher's already assigned it to Edmund, but he needs modifications, I'm going to go ahead and deselect his name and click Save. That will actually pull that assignment out of Google Classroom so he won't be able to see it anymore. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Reuse Post and select that mitosis project, the same one that has posted to the rest of the students. I'm going to open it up, but this time I'm going to go ahead and um, paste in the modifications for the assignment. So in uh, this case, the student, um, it might say, um, your task is to uh, write out the steps of mitosis and include a picture for each. Everything else can remain the same. Um, the attachments, if there are any, can go out. The due date um, can be the same as well. Um, but I'm not going to assign this to everyone. I'm going to only assign it to the student or students with the modifications. In this case, I'll click Edmund. He's not going to know that this is a modified assignment necessarily. He's going to see the same project title, the same uh, details. So it allows him to kind of have a normal experience in the classroom without being told, you know, oh, don't ignore that assignment, only do this modified one. So go ahead and click assign. Now it will require a little bit of extra um, attentiveness for you because now you're going to have two different mitosis projects posted here. By opening them, you'll be able to quickly see um, just by the number of students if it's the modifi modified version or if it's the one that was posted to the rest of the class.